Okay, here's the first bit of damage that's done. And the hurricane, really not gonna be here until tomorrow, but this is the outside portions of it. We have the, uh, a tree and my, but pretty much on the borderline of my neighbor's backyard and my backyard. A very, it's one of those brand new trees that just kind of pops up as a weed and then you let it go, just keep growing and growing. It came from this tree right here. And this tree right here that fell is only about probably three or four years old. It, it got stuck, a seed got stuck between my neighbor's storage unit and the fence. And then the tree grew up between the storage unit and the fence for the past few years. And it just kind of peeked over. Well, the wind just took that tree down and took the fence with it. All right, so that's that. Tetherball pole is still standing. Uh, we got a little bit of a, a flood going on in the backyard here. But this is expected. Because last time, during Hurricane Irma, five years ago, we had this entire area back here all the way surrounding the house was flooded it was like we were living in a castle surrounded by a moat the uh all the other trees are still good all my fruit trees and everything and my chickens are back there just taking it easy in the corner so it's uh right now it's ain't, ain't nothing serious yeah. I'll keep you guys updated with what else there is to come. Any more damage or anything exciting happen, happening. Oh yeah, and by the way, also my our volleyball net also fell in that part of the yard. Alright, well, that's it. Peace.